Salam alaikum. Today I'm going to take you through a very important um, technique. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can join text that are in separate columns and also text that are already in one column. How do you separate them into many columns? Okay, for example, I have my name column here that has got both the name and the surname of each of the staff. And let's say my boss wants me to separate them so that the names can all be on the one column and the surnames can also be on another column. Okay, so that's one example. The second part is, let's say I have my names and surnames in different columns as I, as I have them here. How do I put them together so that they can all be in one column? Okay. Mr. Bean, you, you love that. You want to come with me, Mr. Bean? For information, Mr. Bean is one of the most important comedians in the West. Okay, so please join me and Mr. Bean through this um, very exciting journey. So, number one, I am going to show you how we separate text using our old method, okay, called text to column functions. And of course, I'm going to show you how we can join text in different columns into one column using also another old method called concatenate. Okay, the reason why I call them old is because there is a newer and an easier function which does not require any complicated formula called flash fill. Flash fill alone as a function is able to do both the separation and also the joining. Okay, so please join me so that I can show you both methods, the traditional way of joining and separating, and also the newer way of joining and separating using Excel's powerful tool called FlashFill. For your information, FlashFill is one of the newer functions of Excel that is powered by AI, artificial intelligence. Okay, so um, I'll take this data. Okay, let me first see, yes. Okay, so I've already copied the data, correct. So this data is here. We are going to use this data to do our work. Right, so like I said, the first method I'm going to show you will be the old method. Okay, so first we're going to do the text to column function using the all method. Okay, so what I do is I simply highlight the area that I want to separate, and then I'll go to um, the data menu. Okay, I click on the data menu, and then go to data tool sub menu, and I click on text to columns. Okay, so immediately I click text to columns. This is the menu that will display. It has two ways, either using a delimited or a fixed width. A delimited meaning separating using a parameter, for example, using a comma, using a space, or any other delimiter. And the fixed width is separating uh, using a fixed uh, character. For example, let's say the first column should be after 
the first five uh, characters and the second column should be after the next seven characters like that. So that's what is called a fixed width. Okay, so we want to use a delimiter because we have a delimiter here of space. Space is what is separating the names and the surnames. Okay, so we click on next. And then the space is already checked for us. Then we say next. And this is the view of when we separate them. This is the way it's going to look like. And then we say finish. Once you say finish, look at it. The text has been separated into two different columns. So you have the names and then you have the Sony. Okay. S U R N A M E. Correct. So you have the names on their own column and then the so names on their own column. So now we're going to use the concatenate function to join these two columns. Okay, it's just the opposite of uh, what we just did. And uh, we're going to use this formula. Well, not too complicated, but it's, the name itself is scary, isn't it? Yeah, so the formula is called concatenate. So I'm going to start with equals C O N. Once I type the first three letter, the formula will pop up. So I just double click on concatenate. Okay, so I'm going to concatenate. Let me do it on the next side. So I'm going to concatenate from here. So I say equals C O N. I just double click on it again. Then this time around, let's say I want to join them with the so name first. I want the so name to come first and then the name. So I click on the cell for the so name. I do a comma. And then if I want the so name, if I want the space to be between the so name and the name, then I just do a double click. Uh, sorry, I do a double inverted comma open. And I hit the space bar once for a space, double inverted comma close, and then a comma. And then I click on the name, then I close the bracket, then I enter. So once I enter, I have my so name and name all concatenated or joined in one cell. So I just double click this to replicate. So I have all of them. Baba Gale will appear as Gale Baba. CD file will appear as file CD. Okay, so this is the way to concatenate, to join. And of course, this is the way to separate using text to column, columns function. Okay, so when you look at this, these are a bit complicated. You have to know where to get the text to column functions. We can menu to look, for, to look out for that. The concatenate function, you have to remember the word concatenate. It's not a familiar word and so on and so forth. So, Excel is making life easier for us on a daily basis. Please try and keep yourself up to date, especially if you're working in a finance-related industry. It's really important because Excel and other spreadsheet packages like Google Sheet, they are moving, they are moving very fast and they are moving towards making life easier for us. So they came up with this new function called flash fill. So we're going to do this new method called flash fill. So first, we're going to use flash fill to separate our names and our surnames. Okay. So let's say we want the surnames to appear first. Okay. Let's say we want the surname to appear first. What we're going to do is simple. So we just come to the respective, you know, uh, row. For example, we want funding game, we want the surname to appear on here. So we go to the right place and uh, we just type the surname first, G A Y E, and we enter. Once we enter, then we press control together with E. Okay, once we do control together with E is going to do everything else for us. Okay, so can you see? In fact, it has done, it has added even the separate because I typed separate here. So, but we don't need separate. So you see, 
it has done tune file and all this on it has returned all of them right under this column we want only the names so we're going to um type only one of them so we type f a n d i n g f a n d i n g we enter once we enter we press control e again everything else will be done first can you see can you see the magic so all so it's picking all the false names here yeah city okay and it has added even new because new is from here can you see <laughs> right so these are the so names just put the so names s u r n a m e and we have the name Okay, so all of them nicely. This is a short, nice database, but assuming you have a database that has got thousands and thousands of columns and rows, it's going to work just like that. Okay, so we're going to use the same technique, the flash fill. We're going to use the same technique, the flash fill, to do the concatenation or to do the joining. Okay, same concept. You don't have to know much. Let's say we want to join, okay? So we have funding gay here, but let's say we want to join from the so name to the name, okay? So we just come here, okay? We just come here and type G-A-Y, E space F-A-N-D-I-N-G, we enter. Immediately we enter, we just press Control E, Look at the magic. It has done everything for us. So these ones we don't need. Okay. It has done. Lamin tune will become tune lamin. Baba Gale will become Gale Baba. John Demba will become Demba John. Just like that. So the flash fill is a very, very, very powerful and efficient tool. Okay. That is part of the new family of functions that are powered by artificial intelligence. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session. Please join me in more and more uh, sessions in the future. And of course, do not hesitate to join our trainings. Our training, we will help, we, we will hold uh, one training inshallah by either next month or the month after. Okay. Have a pleasant day. Bye.